This is Kings River Life, and we are at the Road Festival, and we are speaking with Gemma Wilcox about her brand new show. Tell us about it. Hi. Um, so my new show is called The Wallaby Way, and it is a one-woman show where I play lots of characters like some of my other shows. However, this is quite a different style, too. Um, there's a lot of red thread on the stage. I also use mask and costume and projection and um, that's quite different than a lot of, of my other shows that people may have seen. Um, this piece is about um, four generations of my maternal lineage, including myself. And, um, and that part of it is about that. It's also about following threads in your life and not really knowing where they're going to lead, but trusting that you're on the right path and you need to follow a thread to see where it may lead. Um, so stepping into the unknown and also dealing with healing and healing of trauma and trauma and lineage and um, trauma on the planet and in my own personal story. And what inspired the show? Well, I went to Tasmania, that's where this show is set, on a little island off the coast of Tasmania called Flinders Island, where I went last year, um, to, and I went for a personal creative retreat because I knew I needed to write um, a new show and I wanted to approach it in a very different way and really listen to what wanted to come through. So I was following my own kind of threads and not wanting to limit myself or, or kind of add too much mental um, imposing of what I you know, thought it should be about. Um, so I went to this beautiful little island with 700 people and stayed with dear friends of mine who live on this incredible land, on this eco-resort, on this very wild land. And um, there, I was an artist in residence there. And basically, um, what was the question again? <laughs> What inspired, what inspired the show, me. yes. So the land inspired me deeply. It was a very sacred, magical place. There was also a labyrinth on this land that I walked every day, um, which um, really inspired the show. If you can see it, you will see how that inspires the show. Um, and then I would just... I actually didn't sit down and write this piece. I would go on long walks and I would dance and I would... Uh, paint and see what came to me and dream. I dreamt every single night, four or five dreams every single night for four and a half weeks without a day off. Wow. And so I would start off in the morning writing dreams and that, that kind of um, dream-like quality inspired my show. Um, and I just wanted to um, really listen to the images that appeared to me and you know, I was a little like, oh my god, it's about my maternal lineage, it's about healing, really, are we going to go there? Maybe, it should, you know, wanting it to be a bit more funny and, you know, light in some ways. Um, but I had to, you know, my commitment was to really listen to every idea that came up. And that, I, you know, that theme was kept repeating itself over and over. And uh, so I couldn't ignore it. So that and the following threads and being in the unknown. And... Um, yeah, lots, lots of things that I mentioned already. <laughs> and when and where can people still see it? So I am playing at the Cal Arts Academy Severance Building, which is um, 1401 North Wishon, is that how you say it? Yes. Wishon Avenue in Fresno, California. Um, and I have four more shows left. One tomorrow, Sunday, the 5th of March at 5 p.m. And then next weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 9.30, 6.30, 3.30. You can find out on, um, it's at the Rogue Festival, as you, as you know, um, and it, roguefest.com or roguefestival.com has all the information on it. So please come out and see it. It's, it's got, it's got humor. It's also very moving, very personal, very raw, and I am pretty sure you will enjoy it. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank you so much, Laurie.